In today's video guys, I'm going to show you a few additional steps on how you can prevent Fortnite from crashing or in general fix Fortnite crashing while being in arena or fighting or some stuff like that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like if at any further ado. Let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and for the first step now, we're gonna need a tool which is gonna be called Run With Affinity, which you can get here from my Discord, link in the description guys, just simply discord.gg slash the stripes. And once you verified yourself guys, just simply go here into the search bar and type in run and then you should already see here Run With Affinity which you can just simply get here from my Discord, guys. And once we get the program here on our PC, you're gonna extract it here with WinRAR or some other tool. Open it up, guys, and in there should be an Excel, which we're going to run now. And what we can do in here, guys, is select a program, which we're going to do. And now we're basically here on our PC. We're gonna go into our local hard drive, see where we have like Fortnite installed, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and there we're going to select our Fortnite Windows 64 shipping exit. And once we're in here, guys, we want to make sure to put our selected affinity to the maximum, which is available on our PC. For me, my CPU has 8 cores and 16 threads. So therefore, my maximum affinity is actually 16 here. And what this does, basically, it's going to make sure that all of your CPU cores and threads are going to get focused towards running Fortnite. Guys. And what we're now going to do is go here as well onto run and put it onto maximize. And now we're going to create a shortcut. And now every time we actually launch Fortnite above this shortcut, guys, our CPU is gonna get prioritized to run Fortnite in the background. We, by the way, don't need this program anymore. I mean, you can theoretically also use it for other games, but yeah, once you're done with it, you can just simply delete it. And then you have here already your exit over which you're gonna start Fortnite from now on. And by the way, also just uploaded arena video, so please make sure to check it out afterwards. In this next step, guys, we're gonna go here back now into our file explorer and click onto local disk C. Then we're gonna go here again into program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and there we now see easy anti-cheat guys. And for so many people, the anti-cheat is the reason why their Fortnite is crashing. So therefore, what we're gonna do is click here onto easy anti-cheat setup guys, click onto it, click onto yes, then we're gonna wait a little bit and then should pop up here easy anti-cheat service setup. Then we can see current game 217, which is Fortnite. And we're just simply gonna click now onto repair service and you can see uninstall and selling and now install successfully, which means that our anti-cheat got completely reinstalled. And once we now actually go into our Epic Games launcher, you will see it's gonna load a little bit longer since the anti-cheat now got repaired, which means that our Fortnite should be running now. And last but not least, guys, we're going to clear our shader cache because that one can also cause games to stutter or crash in general. So therefore, what we're going to do is go into a Windows search bar and type in clean until we find disk cleanup, guys. And then we can see now in here, guys, we have DirectX shader cache. Clean up this file created by Graphics System, which can speed up application load time and improve responsiveness. They will be regenerated as needed so let's just say as an example that we have errors in here or some corruptive files this can actually cause our games to stutter freeze or crash in the worst case so therefore what you want to do guys is just simply make sure that it's selected click onto ok and delete all your files and the next time you actually launch Fortnite, they're gonna get fully repaired. And if you guys in general need a tool which can help you to boost your FPS and actually reduce your input delay in any competitive games you guys wanna play, and on top also help you to find the servers in your near with the least amount of latency, Noping is your number one tool, guys. As you can see, we have so many options here to actually boost our FPS on any PC, guys. It doesn't matter if you're running a low-end PC, mid-end or high-end PC, you can always improve it because you can deactivate so much stuff here in the background while gaming. On top of that, they also have this Turbo Games mode, which is going to help you to improve your keyboard responsiveness, therefore giving you the least amount of latency. And you can also search it now for Fortnite or even Valorant, any games you guys wanna play, you know, they support over 1000 and it's going to help you to find this server in your near with the least amount of latency as you can see guys you know maybe valorant would connect me to frankfurt 03 but let's just say i'm gonna go here now to frankfurt 02 i get like three milliseconds less ping which is amazing it works for any game here i'm gonna showcase it as well with fortnite guys and therefore make sure to check it out and with my link in the description guys you can get 20 percent off and they also offer a one week free trial and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would Made so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace